Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I review modern fountain pens. Well, I say this fountain pen is modern, but in fact it dates from the 1970s or early 1980s. And we are talking about an interesting, interesting fountain pen made in Czechoslovakia by the famous manufacturer Centro Pen. And this model, it is a 3770 fountain pen. You can see it comes in this black plastic. It has a shiny silver, uh, it, it has a silver cap and it has shiny silver trims. First of all, I paid for this fountain pen around 6 euros or 9 American dollars. And when I bought it, I bought it with several other fountain pens. So it was quite, quite a nice deal. Let me present to you the fountain pen. And after that, I will clean it thoroughly. And uh, maybe we will do also a writing sample. So I've already shown you the shiny trims. It has this cap, which is like a brushed steel. It has a different texture from, from the shiny of the trims. It has this clip, quite, quite a functional clip, a metallic clip. I like that they also added this metallic part at the end of the barrel which matches the metallic part at the end of the cap the cap is a pressure fit cap it fits quite nice and it doesn't need a lot of force to open when i take out the cap it reveals this semi-hooded nib you can see it is a plain steel nib. I believe it has an iridium tip or maybe it is just a steel tip. I'm not so sure because there are no visible imprints on the nib. The back we have this crude, crude looking ebonite feed. And the most interesting part of this fountain pen when I unscrew the barrel, we can see an integrated ink converter. And I say integrated because when I try to remove it, it doesn't bulge. I tried even to rotate it to unscrew it, but it doesn't bulge. So you simply turn this lever turn this piston ending and you can see how it moves the piston moves now guys because you can see it's not clean enough i have here a glass of water and uh, don't worry about distilled water it's simple tap water i will put it right here guys and I will gently turn the knob first, yes, because I want to clean it. And now I will fill it with water. Okay, and now I will screw it. Okay, you can see that nasty, nasty residue of ink. And now you can see a quite, quite transparent ink window here of course you must repeat this procedure a few times till the ink from the fountain pen is clear so it will need some cleaning and unfortunate because the ink converter it isn't removable you have to do this like i did so i will put this aside guys for the fact that 
the ink is contaminated I will also use a special ink and I hope that I can find it yes I have it right here so guys this initially was a Parker quick ink but it contains also the pelican 4001 uh, royal blue so it is a combination of blue dark inks and i will use this combination also on the central pen first of all let me make sure that it is all clear of water let me see okay yes and now you can see i i will dip it in ink okay gently 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 let me see Sorry guys, let me see how to, okay, like this, <laughs> I'm trying just to rotate the knob like this. Okay, now I have some ink, let me get a little tissue. I will clean it thoroughly and I hope it will write. So I will put back the barrel and let me show you if we can post it. Yes, we can post it. Of course, I don't like it to be posted because in time it will leave micro scratches, especially the metal on plastic. Before I will do the writing sample, let me compare it with the Mont Blanc 146 from the 1980s to see the dimensions. And before the writing sample, I will just change the angle of the camera. Okay. For you to have a better, better look. Okay, let me take apart the Mont Blanc 146. And by the way, guys, I will leave also the dimensions of our fountain pen on the screen. Till then, to avoid accidents, I will put back the cap on the ink bottle. And now I'm just curious to see if it writes for the first time. It should write. Let me give you a little zoom to the paper. Yes. So, I have here a central pen. And surprise, surprise, it doesn't write. So, there are two solutions. We can dip it gently in ink or we could uh, just um, open it and just gently apply some pressure here to drive the ink to the nib. But I've chosen the first variant. I just dip it in ink and I hope in time it will do the proper thing. So, Centro. Pen. This model is 3770. It was made in I think I've written this uh, correctly in the 1970s and early 1980s. Quite, quite an interesting, interesting model. I told you it has a steel nib. A steel nib. 
and um, I'm not so sure if it is iridium uh, an iridium nib it writes like an M M for medium so a medium sized nib it is uh, definitely a semi hooded nib so semi hooded in this case being a semi hooded nib I don't expect to have flexibility so yes no flex okay let me now see how juicy it is it appears to be quite quite a juicy nib a medium juice okay let me do the pressure test so here no pressure and here pressure and we have no line variance let me try to reverse right with it and surprise surprise it's a yes it's a possibility it doesn't scratch and it doesn't uh, lose the ink flow so yes uh, definitely pos uh, a possibility let me do a signature with it whoa quite nice so signature reverse writing I think I've covered all maybe I'm missing something let me see so line variance this reverse writing no I think I've covered everything now I can tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over and again I have the same the same problem because I've only dipped it in ink and I didn't address the main main problem so guys just rotate it in the other side gently and let me give you a zoom to see what i am uh, doing here let me see okay and you can see when now i'm applying pressure now i'm retracting it and it should take out yes now again i do this again gently rotate it so gently gently till you saw that ink okay now it should write guys and let me see so brown fox jumps over the okay the lazy dog what can i say guys it is quite quite a nice writer i had this uh, accident because it wasn't used for a long period of time and of course it is quite quite a smooth smooth writer although we have a plain steel nib it does its job wonderfully as you can see it simply glides over the paper and um, I think I did okay at this price point. I simply love this integrated ink converter. It certainly looks like a high-end part of the pen and uh, it still works after all this time. So guys, thank you for your time. I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are guys if you've enjoyed this review and you want to see more reviews on my channel please subscribe to support my activity in return I promise that uh, I will deliver new and exciting uh, content for you excited ink reviews fountain pen reviews and uh, occasionally even ballpoint pen reviews Thank you guys for your time. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, please take care of yourselves in this pandemic times. And God bless.